Uh, hello? This is finally the 600 subscriber video. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everyone. Alright, so to make things a little different, I brought a uh, Sonic flesh I have just for, you know, the occasion. <laughs> Alright, so here it goes with the questions. Starting off with Este Guy. Um, he's wondering if I have any plans with the classic Sonic Simulator videos. At the moment, I'm thinking about making a poll for the public to see how many videos would they prefer me to upload. The poll will be up will be up on the community tab with three different um, answers. So once that's done, I'll know that what does the community want to see per week. <laughs> All right, and now on to the next question, but this one's gonna be up to. 10 questions by somebody random. Yeah, that's a YouTuber name. And hello to you. Uh, question one from him. Do I plan on uploading different content? At this time, no. But if there's a Roblox... Oh, here we go. Okay. Sorry, truck's coming in. Just need that you have peace. Or a bus. I'm gonna put a headphones warning in case there's sounds like that. I'll get the idea record on 4th of July. Alright, um, as I was saying, um, answering by somebody's random question, do I plan on uploading different content? Not at this time, but if there is a Roblox game developer that has a Sonic game, and message me um, either on Twitter or Discord, if they know how to get there, I'd be happy to test out their game and put it on, on this channel. But the only thing that I have a few ex exceptions are is one, no exe. I don't want to scare the viewers. And since part of the Sega rules, no game passes. The game has to have no game passes since you're using Sonic's IP. So, yeah, those are pretty much the, my only two rules if you want me to test out the game. <laughs> Alright, next question. Same from somebody random. Do I like waffles? Yeah, but do you like pancakes? <laughs> oh, just being silly there. But yeah, seriously, it's all good. Yeah, third question from somebody random. Sonic Stars. I didn't know what you mean by that, but... What I thought was probably Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing. There was two of them. There was a no normal one, and then there was a transformed version. I kind of like the first one better, but transform was all right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Changing page. Opinions on Sonic Origins release. Well, from the from what I see. It's doing okay, but I think it's a bit overpriced for some classic games. But we'll see. Maybe the price will go down when the hype goes down a bit. It's a good collection, though. If I had it, I would make gifts out of a certain character. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, let's see here. I might pick it up one day. Just not now. <clears throat> oh my voice. Uh, from oh, what's his name? Somebody, somebody. Oh darn it! Sorry, I know it was somebody random. Did I say that name right? Oh, other page. Yeah, somebody random. I did say it right. Derp. <laughs> okay. Do I think Sonic CD is good? Yes, it's a good game. Though, it's kind of difficult for me to finish the game getting 100%. So you gotta know where all the placements at, of the prisons, things that are in the past, in order to make a good future. That's the only problem I have with it. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying that's the difficulty I have with the game. 
and plus without um, Sonic CD, you wouldn't have Metal Sonic and Amy Rose in the in the games. Uh, let's see. Some Baron and also ask, when do you think um, Classic Sonic Simulator version 11 is coming out? I have no clue as of this time. All I know is that the game is currently on hiatus because the creator is taking a break. So it's best to let the creator take a break because making robot games is probably difficult. I don't know because I would like to make a game that features just for now using all the Roblox's gears that players own and they could just test it out. But I need a PC to order to do that. I only did a little bit on my brother's work. brother's work I mean my freaking brother's PC I'm gonna get one of these mixed up let's see here who is my favorite classic Sony similar creator all right so these are the top three that I well, not top three top four ah, darn it all right first one goes off to super super Kirby 92 um, his videos has nice um, how can I say this? 3D art on his uh, thumbnails. It's pretty cool. Um, you should search for Super Kirby's 982 Red mm, or no Mountain Madness. That's the one. That's the video I like the most. The other one was Ping because the other time she made a video with transitions scenes in her videos which kind of like that's the words I can say uh Esta guy a good friend of mine and South Island 182 I hope I said that right those are my top four um favorite creators at this time question eight from some random guy Again. Some buddy random. My skin doesn't look stuff. Um, let's see here. If I were to add something to Classic Sonic Simulator, what would it be? Well, if I had works on it, like if I was a staff, but I'm not. I'm just a normal guy who plays a lot of Sonic games. <laughs> I would add Infinite and Gadget the Wolf. Uh, how would they work? Well, let's see. Infinite could be work as um, Eggman. Though he would lose the invincibility perk that Eggman has when walking to his um, badniks. Because it, all Infinite can do is just fly right now. That's all he really needs. So Eggman would be kind of a perfect way. For infinite to work. As for Gadget a Wolf, you could just make him into a Sonic, uh, or give him Eggman's backpack. But you know, since we could can't, Gadget a Wolf can't use wiring like he does in Sonic Forces. Or they can just give like a power glove to Gadget a Wolf so he can climb like Knuckles and Rube. I know I said anything wrong, but you know who I mean. Yeah, that would have been my choice if I had the power to do so, but I'm just a normal guy. Alright, two more questions from somebody random. Right, do I? Alright, here we are. Do you think Roblox is stale? No, I don't think it's stale because... There's too many games that are out there, and it just depends on what you want to see or play. There's something out there for everybody, whether it's good or an odd choice, because there are some games out there that are making you say, why was this made? Uh, let's see. Favorite Sonic games. Definitely Sonic 2. Well, I'll wait till the car passes. Definitely Sonic 2. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for Chow Garden, Sonic Battle from the Game Boy Advance for Ermel, 
and Sonic Forces uh, Question 11 Is YouTube a hobby for you? Mm, not really This is just something I do for a spare time I guess you could say it is But I don't really consider it as a hobby Because originally this channel was made for Showing off the community levels And sharing glitches that I found In the Discord I'm in But I just say over time, it kind of grew a little bit with um, what was the game? Yeah. Sonic Speed Simulator. But yeah, I still plan to upload classic Sonic Simulators. But the thing is, I just need to know what, how many, how many times should I upload? Because for Sonic Speed Simulator, <clears throat> I always say, I can up. I'm trying to finish all the events in one day so that's why you see only um, Saturdays as when the event event slash update goes live and this one another <clears throat> final question for from Magmouth opinion on EXE from Friday Night Funkin well I don't dislike um, Sonic EXE, but I remember in my younger days, freaking first time I seen it, I got scared because, well, if you've seen it, you know what happens to the first character. And he was my favorite. But there's at least now there are some other stuff there, are fun games of that. But yeah, I do like the music of um, FNF of EXE. Triple Trouble is the one I like the most. Alright, that concludes the questions. And I will see you next time when we hit 800. Farewell.